Let's Talk of the Town, a weekly program featuring community events happening in and around Northeast Michigan with your host, Nancy Smitham, and the latest news from Alpena Community College with Dr. Olin Joynton. And now, today's Talk of the Town. Good morning and welcome to Talk of the Town. My first two guests today are both here from Thunder Bay Theater. I have Nikki Hilton and Pooja Tolton. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Now we got a lot to talk about today. We have two productions, so mm -hmm. let's start out with Almost Maine. Alrighty. Almost Maine is a romantic comedy. Uh-huh. It's it's very funny. Um, it's uh, it's set in this town that is called Almost. Okay. Because they never got organized. It's okay. kind of an unorganized territory, yeah. so they don't actually have a, a name. It's just they're almost. They're you know. almost a town. Yeah. <laughs> ah. And um, there are lots of, you know, interesting characters who live yeah, in this town. Yeah, um, there's lots of little scenes that happen, okay. and so we've got a lot of locals, mm -hmm. a lot of core company members, Ooh. and Nikki and I are both in two different scenes, mm -hmm. um, playing two different people, and then we also both directed a scene, so, yes. so lots of multitasking. <laughs> this show has uh, six directors. Wow. Um, we have, you know, Kevin Reams, okay. um, and then uh, Pooja and myself, Nick Hartman, directed a scene, Colin Marshall directed a scene, and Carol Rundell directed a scene. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So, so a lot of creative energy. Yes. Oh, it would yeah. be. And then so um, a romantic comedy, uh, how many core members, I mean, how many people from the community did you use? Um, I think around six. I okay. could be wrong. Um, Any names we'll recognize? Uh, yes. Put me on the spot, aren't I? Uh, we'll see. Bill, Bill, Bill Powell. Bill Powell. Okay. Rick Messler. Rick okay. Messler. Um, Hannah Metke. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Connor Larkin. Connor Larkin, yes. Um, Joe Rabarczyk. Uh, Kristen Meinka. And Allison. Allison Kanya. That's Kanya. seven. Yes. Yes. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. Oh, very good. Yeah. So we forgot somebody. <laughs> I hope we didn't forget anybody. That's, you did very well. So it's a romantic comedy. Tell me when it's set and what kind of give me a little bit more information about um, it. Well, it's set at this time, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, present. present. Okay. Um, and the... Well, it's it's kind of magical realism. Like, yes. there's um, ah. a little magical element in each scene. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to give too much away, but it's just like a little quirky thing that happens in each scene mm -hmm. that kind of puts these characters into a weird, almost mystical setting. But yes. it is very much something that is relatable and that anyone, like all these different types of relationships and different places in relationships, you know, mm -hmm. like So some, there aren't like two main characters? No. No, no ah. it's, each scene is set in the same place these are all people that know each other, but they're all different people yes. in this one town. And yeah. it's, it's interesting the way in some of the scenes, um, you will see a scene previously with these two people, and then they get talked about later yeah, on in the scene. Them, yeah, ah. yeah and then at one point, I, I think almost every character gets yeah, referenced. Yeah, in your last scene, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just pretty neat. You yeah. Know. But, uh, but yeah, every, all the characters... A bit quirky, you know, yeah, yeah, in their own in their own realm. Yeah, and it's interesting because it, it kind of it depicts every different type of relationship. Okay. So some of them are like not in great shape, and other ones are just beginning, and mm -hmm. you know, and it, there's like lots of different levels of some are really sweet, okay. and some are kind of. Is it a PG thirteen production? I, I think. PG, I yeah. think. There's, PG, oh, yeah. There's, there's nothing. Better. And everyone would relate to it because everyone's mm -hmm. been there and done that, probably. Mm -hmm. I think so. At yeah. least at oh, some point in their lives, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. And the next production is Sylvia. Sylvia. Okay. Um, so we are going to start rehearsing this um, next week. Okay. Uh, so what we know, we know from reading it. Okay. But um, it's a really funny show um, about a man and his dog. Okay. So, um, so any dog owner will totally relate to okay. this. You know, it's it's like about the love between you know dogs and their owners, and then also the tendency that dog owners have to personify their dogs. And they show this by actually having a dog be played by a person. Okay. And so I will be playing the dog in Ooh, the show. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. Um, and yeah, and it's so funny, like, because the dog talks to this guy and is just, like, totally in love with him and thinks he's, you know, like, just this awesome deity like dogs do, you know. So it's, it's really sweet. Yeah. yeah. And then Nikki's playing um, his wife, who is mm -hmm. not a huge fan I'm of not, the dog. Yeah, I'm not too thrilled with Sylvia. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So kind we have taken a little bit of a... time out from you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know she loves animals. I love it. I love all animals. So, it, you know, it's it, 
but yeah. Yeah, but it'll be fun because <laughs> we kind of have an antagonistic relationship yes. in the now play. Yes, now who's playing the role of the man? Um, Curtis. Curtis Brown. Yes. Okay. He and is uh, coming in on Monday. Okay. Um, and so um, I'm actually old friends with him. I worked oh, with him yay. at uh, Snow Camp Outdoor Theater for a, a few years, and then I uh, went on two national tours with him. So he's he's one of my good friends. So well, I'm very yay. excited to have him come up here. Very good. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go back to the first one, mm -hmm. Almost Maine. When, okay. when will that be airing at Thunder Bay Theater? Um, well, we've got one more weekend left, February 6th through... Wait, no, yeah. We have just done February 6th through 9th. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then next weekend, it'll be 13th through 16th, so Thursday through Sunday. Yes. Okay. So actually this weekend, though, they can see it right on Sunday? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so this weekend, on the 9th, yep. when this airs, you'll still be able to go see it today. Get yes. down to Thunder Bay yes. Theater and see Absolutely. Almost Me. Absolutely. Good <laughs> laugh, good fun, professional theater in your mm -hmm. own backyard. And I'm interested to see all those little sets and all the little mm -hmm. vignettes, how it all comes together mm -hmm. and yeah. relates. It sounds intriguing. And we have mm -hmm. some kind of cool special effects, too. Oh, yeah. Sure. So. Ooh, very good. Yeah. Little magic. Yes. yes. Okay. Right. Hey, magic. <laughs> okay, then Sylvia. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Sylvia is playing from February twenty second, uh, February twenty seventh through March second, and March sixth through the ninth. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we want to tell everyone to call ahead, get their tickets, get on down Absolutely. there, and have fun. And uh, we always, every time we like to plug for volunteers too. We always mm -hmm. need volunteers. We always need items for the set. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that people can do, or or things for the apartments, for the actors upstairs. <laughs> Invite them out for dinner. All those good, <laughs> good yes, fun please. things that you can do to to enjoy and and you know welcome everyone to our community and yes. and just have the theater be so thankful that you're all here. Okay. Well, out of time, I want to thank both of you very much for being here, and thank I look you, forward Nancy. to hearing about how wonderful these productions are. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Thank you.